I grew up thinking of farms as places with red barns, cows, and gray-haired men with overalls. I never thought about where the vegetables fit in or what would happen when the gray-haired men turned grayer as I and everyone around me continued to grow up and depend on farms for food. I also grew up thinking that I might become an artist, a model, a violinist, a comedian, or even a fairy princess. Anything but a farmer. Until now. There have been incredible advances in technology over the past century, some of which our growing population could not live without. But some of these are asking our bodies and the environment to compromise more than they can. Through farming, I have learned that we all have choices when it comes to our food, our bodies, and our environment. Things do not have to be the way that they are. Research has proven that people are their happiest when they are part of a strong community and when they help other people. I have seen this happen time and again in multiple farming contexts and with every age group. Rising with the sun, working with whatever weather has been dealt, eating food that has been grown with such care, such passion and hard work, and doing this with other people creates a sense of purpose, a sense of connection, a sense of happiness. In so many ways, this seems small. A little farm in a little town, somewhere in Canada. But it's not small, it's big. Have you ever heard of the butterfly effect? Basically, it's about how small things can impart big change in unimaginable and unpredictable ways. These large-scale implications of a small farm are not always so apparent at first. It starts with the small lessons. Tomatoes aren't always red. Some are green, purple, yellow, and orange too. Cauliflower can be purple. And corn leaves make beautiful music when the wind blows through them. Winter squash grows in the summer. From here, we not only learn to look far enough into the future to anticipate the harvest of a ripe fruit, but to the harvest of healthier communities and localized food systems as well. So, why this video? I am asking for your support. This may not be the most conventional way to fundraise, but as an organic farmer, I can be a bit unconventional. For more information about the farm, about where exactly your money would go, or to view additional resources, please visit my page on Indiegogo.com. If you believe in the butterfly effect, in being a part of strengthening small businesses, empowering youth, and supporting community, then consider making a donation, no matter how small. Trust that a single donation, like the flap of a butterfly's wing, can create meaningful change.